Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem 1 over 2 open bracket root x plus x equals 2. Now do you know that this can be written as root x plus x all over 2 equals 2. Now that means we can multiply this by this. So we have root x plus x equals 4. Now why don't we make this the subject first? So we have root x equals 4 minus x. Now the next target is to remove the square root. And we do that by squaring both sides. So this is taking this out, we have x, and then we have this in two places, 4 minus x times 4 minus x. Now our x is 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times minus x is minus 4x, minus x times 4 is minus 4x, minus x times minus x is plus x squared. Okay, now x is equal to 16 minus 8x plus x squared. Now, let's rearrange. I want to write this first. So, I'll have x squared. This is minus 8x. This becomes negative x. And this is plus 16. Everything is equal to 0. Okay, let me go over that again. This is x squared minus 8x this becomes minus x and this is plus 16 so our x squared minus 9x plus 16 is equal to 0 this is now a quadratic equation and then um, we have our general formula as minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Now, what is our a, b, c? Our a is 1, the coefficient of x squared. Then our b is minus 9. And c is 16. So, let's put this into the formula. x will now be, in place of minus b, we write minus, minus 9. Plus or minus... We have minus 9 in bracket squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1. And then our c is 16. We divide it by 2 times 1. And 2 times 1 is still 2. Okay. Now let's simplify what we have. x will now be minus minus is positive. As negative negative is positive. Then we have minus 9 squared will give us, um, that will give us 81, it's positive now. Minus 4 times 1 times 16, that will give us 64. Then we divide by 2, okay. Now this 81 is a perfect square, 64 is a perfect square, but we are expected to simplify them before taking their square root. Okay, so to continue with this, we now have x to be equal to 9 plus or minus square root of 81 minus, six, minus 64 is 17. Then we divide by 2. Okay, mind you, this is 2 in 1 solution, right? This means that x is equal to 9 plus or minus. Okay, we have 9 plus square root of 17 over 2 or 9 minus square root of 17 over 2. So we have the two solutions to the problem, this or that. But the question is, can both of them satisfy the equation? 
the answer to that will be no. Now let's check which of them should satisfy. Okay, so I'm going to do this with calculator. 9 plus square root of x over 2 is approximately it's approximately 6.56 or on this side we are having 2.44 these are approximated figures now let's go back to the equation the equation is 1 over 2 square root of x plus x equals 2 so let's put in this if we put this then we have 1 over 2 of square root of 6.56 then we have plus 6.56 now will this give us 2 because if it gives us 2 it means that this will not satisfy okay so let me get square root of 6.56 square root of 6.56 okay that is approximately 2.56 so we have 1 over 2 of 2.56 plus 6.56 now in this case what do we do add these two figures right so i have 2.56 plus 6.56 okay that gives 9.12 right so that means we have 1 over 2 of 9.12 now if you divide 9.12 by 2 you are not going to have 2 so this means that x equal to 6.56 has to be rejected then let's work with the second one we have 1 over 2 of square root of 2.44 then plus 2.44 so will this give us will this give us 2 on the other hand let's work it and see so I will pick um, square root of 2.44 that is 1.56 so we have 1 over 2 of 1.56 plus 2.44 now let's add this to add we have 1 over 2 of 4 plus 6 that will give us some um, 10 so write 0 4 plus 4 I mean 4 plus 5 that will be 9 plus 1 that will be 10 we have 0 again then 2 plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 and that is 4.00 now this is 4 divided by 2 and it's equal to 2 so this means that we are very correct because we had two on the other side of the equation. Look at it over there. So we are correct to say that our x is 2.44. Thank you for watching.